mixing up what side of the shield you land on. Yes, of course. But I'm actually uh, wondering how uh, Samus is going to uh, complement uh, Yoshi's game uh, because her grab are maybe not the best in this situation, but of course all those projectiles, uh, I just hope they're not going to end up uh, biting Eevee uh, and clipping, uh, clipping her, his own teammate. So we do have some fist bumps, so this is not going to be a button check. We're going to get right into the match. Uh, Cloud and Marth, two sword users versus two non-sword users. I feel like uh, Yoshi might have a little bit of trouble if uh, Gina can land those strong hits on him off stage yes. and ruin that whole double jump armor. Of course, Gina and Stumbert, not the first time teaming together, are going to be one of the uh, the strongest team to be expected here in that doubles bracket. Uh, very high seeded, uh, not the first time teaming, as I just said. Um, and Wisdom and Eevee, uh, neither are the first time teaming together, I believe. Stromber getting a nice pivot neutral B there, almost breaking Wisdom Shields, but we saw earlier he was going for a lot of air dodges, so he might be trying to play it a little safe, and that defensive play is very, very rewarding right now. Both green team players at over 100%, and both blue team players at barely 50. This is going to be a very hard task uh, from, for Eevee and Wisdom, um, especially on that stage, I believe. Two sword players on Dreamland or Battlefield, uh, that platform layout just... Yeah. It's just so good for those characters. This is a very good stage for Yoshi, but uh, Samus, I'm not so sure. I know that Yoshi's up smash will clip slightly through those platforms. It's not as good as Battlefield, but it's still exceptionally good. So I'm, I'm curious to see how she's going to use that. But as long as Gene and Strawbert play low to the ground like they've been doing, it's going to be very rewarding for them not to put themselves in that bad situation. And of course, already uh, two stocks down for Green Team and barely even half a stock gone. Well, maybe, maybe now... Oh, just, <laughs> one full stock gone. <laughs> one full stock gone, but... Stumbert sitting at a pretty 57% and not taking much more damage. This is uh, getting uh, suddenly very, very grim for Green Team already, uh, considering there's uh, yeah. barely a minute and a half gone in that first game. Yeah, a minute and a half in both Green Teams again at 100%. Gina and Stromberg are just racking up the damage and letting Gina run train, getting those kills with the front smash as we saw earlier on Eevee. And Stromberg does have that strong up B and back air that he's going to be utilizing to make sure he can follow up on any of Gina's throws. So Mart still uh, still yet uh, to lose a stock here, and Yoshi is down to his last stock, and Samus at 141 percent. Yeah. He's Strong. almost full rage, but I'm not quite sure how well he's going to be able to use it against yeah. uh, such characters as Martin. Yeah. And, uh, That's Cloud. one thing that we're noticing right now is like Cloud does have exceptionally good throws for teams. Like Even if they nerfed the limit break and they made the finishing touch a little less good, he still has those really good throws that is easy to follow up on. And a character like Marth that has moves like the fair and the bear that kind of curve in the air and cover a lot of like vertical area can follow up even if he go jumps a little too high or a little too low. Yes. And of course, Trumbert always landing those tippers. Um, oh, almost breaks the Wisdom shield right there. It's the there. second time he's caught him with that, but good on Wisdom to know that his shield isn't going to be broken. Of course, since the that nerf a couple of patches ago, uh, that doesn't break shields quite as easily, but still very uh, a very good warning on Strumbert's part. Yeah. He does have the full charge shot on deck now. I'm wondering how he's going to use it. It would be beneficial to do it on Strombert rather than Gina because a lot of Yoshi's strong hitting moves like the up smash, a quick down smash, a good read on a forward smash will close out that stock whereas the charge shot is good for killing people slightly early. And he breaks the shield. That was a very good tech chase actually. Uh, Strombert uh, teching in place and the charge shot coming immediately. But uh, Gina saving his teammate there. And Strawbert returning the favor by smacking his teammate <laughs> in the face. With That's the first team though. kill. And that's suddenly a lot closer than it was at the beginning, beginning of the game. Yeah. But, but at uh, the same time, Yoshi in rage is very scary. If Gina gets too much percent, it's going to be really scary. And now Eevee on her last legs. Yeah. Uh, 170% against both of those guys. Two stocks on Marth yet. Goes for the down smash that was very unsafe, but manages to escape. And it's it's not that unsafe, but you really have to know what you're doing with it. Like if she were to turn around and try to go for the second hit on Strombert, it would have been a lot safer because it would have ended right after hitting the shield and knocking him slightly away. But as we see, the blue team is going to be very patient in this scenario. Let Gina get that limit and then try to use that li limit at some point. Excellent option there. I like that. It was actually very safe, but Strombert from off stage cleans up his teammate's kill. And they take game number one. It goes to Strombert and Gina Mudkips. Very clean. A win. traitor to the Falco name. Yeah. That's okay. Now I can be the best in all of Quebec instead of just Montreal. Uncontested. No. But I feel like Falco really shines in teams. But I don't expect to see a character switch out of either team. I mean, Wisdom did get a shield break and he did put a lot of pressure and damage. But he just wasn't landing those, like, he wasn't, he couldn't really camp out on that stage because there wasn't a lot of room to run around yeah. in. Yeah. 
especially with that platform layout with against two sword users. Um, and now they're going to choose Town and City, uh, which is a very good stage uh, for Yoshi and also for Samus with those up air and two uh, screw attack combos. Yeah. They just have to be careful about those uh, cloud up airs coming in through, through the platforms. But besides that, there's not a whole lot they can do without landing on the platforms. Of course, the platform is not always there to save uh, the sword users, but uh, I believe, yeah, this is a very good counter pick overall. Oh, this is a nice change of pace. The green team taking a quick lead on percent. Blue team already almost at 100% apiece. And yet green team is very healthy right now. This is a very good adaptation coming from green team. But uh, Stroombert and Genoma Kips uh, able to adapt as well. Um, they're not going to let themselves just uh, just push, uh, push away like that. The charge shot, the half charge shot coming through. And the limit side oh, B. Wow, Eevee going for that down B and Strombert trying to challenge with the up air does trade, but it's not a worthwhile trade and he loses his stock for it. So already his stock down. This is a complete turnaround from first game. Uh, let's hope that green team is able to keep the pace and actually take game two, but this is still going to prove to be a hard task. But once again, just... I mean, that is the third time Wisdom has gotten hit by Strombert's neutral B. He's got to start jumping out of his shield before his shield gets broken. And I don't know if that was on purpose, but Strombert jumped into Gina's forward smash, extending the hit stun and making it so that Wisdom got caught in it. And now Eevee's the one in the danger zone as well as Gina. But Yoshi at full rage of... That doesn't matter anymore now, Oops. but <laughs> Yoshi at full rage on Town and City. This is always dangerous. Those up airs come out so quick. Wisdom coming to Eevee's aid, going with him with that dash attack, just trying to get any move out as quick as he can in order to make sure Eevee doesn't get comboed too hard. Because Yoshi is heavy despite him being floaty, so he is pretty easily comboed. So now it's suddenly very even, um, with uh, players on both teams being uh, very high percent. Stoombird a, a little bit more though than, uh, than Wisdom at that moment. Wisdom going for those dash attacks, I'm surprised he's not trying to back off, just shoot a couple of missiles and let Eevee, Eevee weave in and out between them with that up B giving you that little bounce. It's quite easy to navigate and it makes it very difficult for ground characters like Cloud and Marth to approach. Well, Stuber not making it back to the stage. And now it's it is tied three stocks apiece. Yoshi sitting at 89%. This is not too shabby though. Good on Wisdom to not go for that charge shot. Eevee hit with the weak bear and it, uh, weak nair, and if it had hit while Wisdom was backing up to do the shot, he would have lost the shot even if it came out or not. Yeah, Stroomber trying to get the edge guard on Yoshi, but Sam is just in the way. But Yoshi ended up losing his stock anyways. They got to play. Green team really has to play patient if they want to take this because Gina has a lot of percent. As long as you don't get killed, everything will be okay. A lot of percentage on Cloud, but of course this means rage, and also he has his limit ready. Can use it at any time. Oh, Eevee going for a nice little frame trap. If he had air dodged there, it would have been even worse. But he went for the down air, not quite working out for him that time. And this is very, very uh, even right now. Still, uh, no team getting a clear advantage. Uh, Samus close to her last legs, but this can go either way. Samus with those rage, I'm surprised. I haven't seen a single missile out of Wisdom. You could be pressuring with missiles from across the stage, and during rage, that knockback on them makes it even easier for Eevee to follow up with any move that Yoshi has. Oh, and the forward smash, punishing that with grab. So, but uh, Wisdom isn't a very projectile heavy Samus, surprisingly, and they end up losing that set 2-0. Oh. But that was, that was a very good showing by them, nonetheless. I, I think that's what they could have done differently, is they weren't playing very campy, and against two rushdown characters, it is difficult to play patient and play defensive. But characters, a character like Yoshi is very hard to approach with. The only real options you have is mixing up your landing and throwing those eggs, whereas Samus, you have missiles, you have a regular charge shot, and you have some decent normals with the forward tilt and stuff to push people away and create that space between you. But they weren't really doing that. They were, they were trying to rush down each other, and that really didn't work out in the end, seeing as Cloud is a much better character up close and personal than Samus is. Yeah.